This is the second video of eight that I'm sharing here on YouTube for my full course, Vue.js 3 Composition API with Pinia and Vite. In this video, we're gonna be learning all about data in the Composition API, including refs, reactive objects, two-way data binding, and non-reactive data. You can find a link to the whole playlist down in the description, and you can grab the full course with my discount at dannys.link slash composition API. There are three main types of data that we can use in a Composition API app. Refs, which we've already added in this app, reactive objects, and non-reactive data. And we've already covered refs. We basically just set up a constant or a variable, set that equal to the ref method, which we need to import from view, and then just pass in the initial value. And we can make changes to that value by accessing the value property of the constant that we've set up. And we can add as many refs as we want, so let's add another one. Let's say we want a title for our counter and we want to be able to change that title programmatically or with two-way binding. So let's add another ref here. So we could do const counter title, set that equal to a ref method and pass in an initial value of, let's say my counter, or we can shorthand this by getting rid of the const keyword and then adding a comma after the first const. And again, we don't need to return this constant. It should be available in our template straight away. So let's add a h3 tag above this div and we'll output this title. So double curly braces and counter title, save that. And we can now see that title on the template. And to make it a bit clearer what this title is, I'm just gonna add a semicolon after this title. And now if we change the value of this ref, we should see the title update, which we do. For the most part, two-way data binding works exactly the same in the Composition API as it does in the Options API. So just to demonstrate this, let's add an input to our page, which allows us to modify this counter title, which we have stored in this data ref. So after this div, with our counter and buttons, I'll add a div with a class of edit. And then inside that, I'm gonna add a H4 heading with the text edit counter title colon. And then I'll add an input and save that. And I'm just gonna add a bit of margin to the top of this div. So I'll jump down to the, and uh, while we're at it, let's just remove all of these old comments. And I'll jump to the script section target the edit class, which we just added to that div, and I'll add a margin top of 60 pixels and save that. And now let's bind this input to our counter, to this counter title ref. So to do that, we can just jump to this input and add a V model directive and just set it equal to this const counter title, counter title and save that. And we can now see our counter title in this input. And if we change it, it's not updating the heading up here. Maybe we just need to refresh, try that again. And yeah, if we change the heading title in this input, we see it updated in our heading up here. We can see that refs are handy for storing simple independent items of data, such as a number or a string or maybe an array or a Boolean. But what if we want to store a bunch of different data that's related together in a single object? A bit like we did with the data method in Options API apps. Well, we can do that with a reactive object. So let's say we want to store our counter and our counter title together in a single object. Since this data is related, then we can do that with a reactive object. So to set up a reactive object, we again create a const or we can use a variable and we give that a name. So we could call it counter data and we set that equal to the reactive method. And we do need to import this from view. So we can just add that to our import object here, reactive. And we can just pass an object into this reactive method and we can place all of our data properties in here. So let's create a property called count for our counter, give that an initial value of zero. And then we'll add a property called title for the title. And we'll set that to my counter and save that. 
And uh, let's use the data from this reactive object in our template instead of the data from these refs. So if we want to use the counter that's in this reactive object here, we can just do counter data dot count. And if we want to use the title that's in the reactive object, then we can just change this in this heading tag to counter data dot title. And let's update this V model as well to use this reactive object. So I'll set this V model to counter data dot title and I'll save that and reload. And let's see if our title is hooked up okay. Yeah, that's still working and the two-way data binding is still working as well. And our counter is working. We can see zero displayed there. And if I change the value of counter data dot count, we can see it update. However, these buttons are not working and that's because these methods, the increase counter method and the decrease counter method are still manipulating this ref and not this count that's in our reactive object. So let's update these methods. So instead of counter dot value plus plus, we can just do counter data dot count plus plus. And then in the decrease counter method, we can just do counter data dot count minus minus. And note that we don't need to use dot value when we're using data that's in reactive objects. We just use the straight property name counter data dot count. Now let's save that and see if these buttons are working. And yeah, that's working again now. Okay, so we're no longer using these refs anymore. Our VS Code shows us that by graying these out a little bit. So let's just comment these out. And since we're no longer using this ref method from view, we can remove that from this import statement like so and save that. Sometimes in our view components, we want to have a data property that doesn't need to be reactive. And this is easy to do with the composition API. And I would recommend that any data properties in your component that don't need to be reactive, you should make non-reactive as this will improve the performance of your app. So let's say we want to store the title of our app in a data variable, but we don't need it to be reactive. We don't need to be able to change the value of that title programmatically and see it updated on the template. All we need to do is set up a constant or variable. So I'll create a constant called at title and just set that equal to a string. So I'm not using ref or reactive here, just a bog standard constant, which is set to a string. And I'll set this string to my amazing counter app and save that. And this constant should now be available in our template. So I'll jump up to the template and inside this div of the class of home, I'll add a H2 and we'll output this constant. So double curly braces and then app title, save that. And we can now see our title on the page. And if we change this string to my okay counter app, which is a bit more apt, then we see that update on the page. If you want to grab the full course with my discount applied, jump to dannys.link slash composition API and the link is in the description. Or there are six more videos to go in this series. Make sure you click subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any of them. And you can find a link to the whole playlist in the description.